Journalist Storm San Bernino shooter's apartment after landlord pries open the door. What's going on, guys? Make K Electric Saturday, the 5th of December 2015. Out of all my years of doing this, this, you know, just when you think it can't get more absurd. Look at this first link below. Pull it up. Check out the video. News outlets, including MSNBC, BBC, CBS, and CNN broadcast live scenes as reporters touting cameras and microphones push through the open door uh, and reported from inside the apartment of the shoot. You mean to tell me 48 hours after these people supposedly killed 14 people, the FBI executes a search warrant on their apartment. They claim they found all this guns and ammo and pipe bombs and all this. FBI is done with the search warrant, turns it back over to the landlord, and then the media comes in. you got to pull it up and check the video like a pack of wild dogs fighting over who's going to have the exclusive on the baby rattle. Going through this family's personal effects and paperwork it is absolutely the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. Please, can someone explain to me what's going on here? How is it not a, still a crime scene? Because there's still many pieces of the puzzle they're putting together. I think they already have the picture, but you know what I mean, the official story. And journalists are ransacking the apartment? I'll put the first link with the story, second link back up from LiveLeak inside the home of the terrorist killer and his wife. Check out the video. I don't know what the hell we're looking at. Husband and wife team, Saeed Farouk, uh, identified in San Bernardino killings, killings. This is an article in case you don't know what's going on in California. You probably don't need that link. San Bernardino mass shooter had Islamic State ties. She pledged allegiance to the ISIS leader. Again, this, the official story, I, 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 I'm just tongue-tied. I don't know. I don't know where to... I'm just going to give you these links. White House says Obama thinks gun control will deter terrorists. While this attack was going on, as soon as it kicked off, you got Obama, we need gun control. And then you got like Hillary Clinton and Diane Frankenstein and everybody tweeting out stuff. I can't believe this has happened again. How much is going to be enough? And now Barack Obama seems to think gun control will deter terrorists. What? That from the Weekly Standard. Obama speaking in Paris. He says mass shootings don't happen in other countries. Uh, didn't we just have one in Paris? You know, and, and he's right to some effect because over in other countries, you got people strapping on suicide vests, blowing people up that way. He is delusional. Mass killings don't have. <laughs> WND, ISIS, we're sending sleeper cells with the refugees. Uh, the president who's bringing these people over here, uh, they're saying that they're infected with. Breitbart says Obama won't say the term radical Islam. Something is wrong with him we don't know about. Donald Trump, Breitbart, mainstream article. I agree. Something is wrong with Obama that we don't know about. It's interesting to see that piece in the mainstream. Why do you think it is he won't say radical Islam? Because he is one, you think? U.S. Herald puts this out. Uh, college students burned the Durka Durka flag. And Muslims are outraged. Oh, you mad, bro? That came out October 13. But I'm giving you that to go along with the next one. Loretta Lynch vows to prosecute those who use anti-Muslim speech. Anti-Muslim speech will get you... Pro you better not say anything bad about the Muslims. You can demonize Christianity all you want. But not the Muslims, no. Put a link to it. Tell me your thoughts. We got WGBH puts this out. Uh, Lynch says 72 Department of Homeland Security employees are on the terrorist watch list. You know, Loretta Lynch, while, while you're busy trying to tell people, hey, don't you insult Islam, can you explain to the class why there's 72 people working for the DHS on a terror watch list? And you don't think all this is an inside job? Truth in media. Look at this. Somebody asked me in one of my recent videos, well, what do you suggest? If you're not for gun control, how do you... How do you fix this problem? I want the mainstream media to address what pharmaceuticals all of these shooters may be on. Swan did a write a great piece here. Uh, why aren't shooting? Why aren't the shootings sparking debate over antidepressants? Indeed, why is that? Because as you're watching the media footage and they go to commercial, every other commercial is trying to sell you a pill for this or that. You, you, it's not good for business to bring the pharmaceutical industry into this. So, a solution to all this? Hmm. Antidepressants? Bunches of cases out there talking about how antidepressants can, it can, has the potential to make the problem a lot worse, not to mention turn the person into a psychopath. 
Anyway, your thoughts. Uh, we got a lot more stuff here. San Bernino shooting. Man interviewed wearing Masonic hat. Illuminati confirmed. Isn't it amazing? It's not the first time. Right out the gate, the footage, as soon as this thing started, they're interviewing the father of someone inside, supposedly. What do you got on the hat? The G. Pull it up and check it out. The Mason. Do you think that's just an amazing quit? It's not the first time we've seen this. What Didn't Trayvon Martin's father... Wouldn't he a member of the Freemasons? There was another shooting where, where, I forget which one it was, but the guy's brother or cousin or something wearing the uh, G right there on his lapel. And now we got the, the one, supposedly one person in the building, his father, just so happens to be wearing the G. This is all, you know, I don't know if anybody died out there, but this, th there's so much strange crap going on with this, you just can't deny it. Young people who question now, of course, I will be labeled as a, a, a you know radical for bringing all this up, pointing out the G and everything, even though it's right there. You know, young people who question government or media may be extremists, officials tell parents. Put this one with the last few videos I've done, talking about, it. look, people, young people who question government or the media may be extremists, officials tell parents. You know, read that out loud a few more times to yourself and grasp that. The TV would never lie to you. The government would never lie to you. And if you think they are lying to you, you might be an extremist. Of course! One more. If there's just any encouraging news out of all this, Americans bought enough guns on Black Friday to create a new military branch. Bravo! That from bearing arms. Sooner or later... Military members, police officers, you know, when, when you're given those orders, and you will be given those orders at some point to disarm the American people, you're going to have to pick a side. And you're going to be fighting the largest armed army on planet Earth. Just something to think about. Nobody making any threats or anything. But, you know, I realize that the DHS has 20 years of ammunition stored. And it, in my opinion, will be used on the resistance. The people who will not give up their guns. So, are you going to confiscate guns when your bosses tell you to? You better look deep within yourself because you will be given that order at some point. I guarantee it. That's the road we're going down. And the American people, largest armed force on the planet. I'm going to put one link all the way at the bottom. PSYOP. PSYHOP serving BS 24-7. Check out Monty's latest. It's 10 minutes long, but it is a great listen. He talks about other anomalies going on with this whole thing. Anomalies indeed. You know? I wasn't one to just right off the bat say, oh, this is a false flag. But I'm telling you what, the Masonic hat? <sighs> Please tell me your thoughts on this madness. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware. Show them the links below. Make, you know, connect the dots for them. There's something very strange going on here, people. And of course, even if it was a real event, which I'm not convinced it is now because of all these anomalies, they're still going to use it to push the gun control agenda. Never let a good crisis go to waste. Rahm Emanuel. You guys take care, stay safe, always remain vigilant. I don't know what's going to happen next, but it is going to be a freaking roller coaster, that I can guarantee you. I will see you on the next one.